This is Marshall Jones at Winthrop University, and I want to show you how to use transitions in Canva's video editor. You've seen transitions. These are visual effects that happen between two video clips. So the first thing we're going to need is a couple of video clips. And I'm going to try to get two that look very different from each other so you can see the difference. So I'm going to pick this one, which has sort of a pink background. And I'm going to pick this aerial one, which looks very, very different. In between the two clips, you will see that we can add a page or we can add a transition. And when we add a transition, we'll get the different transitions that are available to us. Now, I'm going to use the chop because it's very easy to see the chop. So once we have the, uh, once we've chosen the transition, we can decide how long it's going to take to make that transition. So I'm going to do a fairly long transition at 1.2 seconds. Notice here on the timeline that this turns purple because this uses part of the video to, uh, to make that transition happen. So if I play this, you'll see the chop happen. Now that's, an, so the fact that it uses video is an important thing to remember because you don't want to put a transition between two clips of people talking unless you've got enough space on those clips to support the transition. You can edit the transition. You can, um, we can make it go the other way. Uh, we could choose a different kind of transition, a line wipe, a color wipe, a circle wipe. Transitions are kind of cool. And as you're making your first video, my advice is to use every transition you can find. To use a circle wipe and a color wipe and a stack and a flow, use them all and get them out of your system. <laughs> because it's kind of exciting that you can do that but you want to use them judiciously and you want to use them in a way that enhances your video and doesn't distract from it. So this is Transitions in Canva's video editor.